Glitterbox. I've got something here that you don't ever want to turn down. Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Soul. Yes, crew, a very warm welcome along as we kick off a brand new week right here, the Glitterbox Radio Show. My name is Mel by Baptiste. Very happy to be back on your radios today. Um, and today's a bit of a special episode. Um, just last week, Simon Dunmore uh, officially hung up his headphones, played his last ever DJ set for Glitterbox. It was at Printworks. It was a 6,000 sold out audience um, and it was special for so many different reasons. Um, Simon recorded his set, it was an all vinyl set um, and today we thought we'd take the opportunity to share that with you for the benefit of the people who were in the room but also the benefit of the people who didn't hear any of it and you can listen to it today live on your radios. We'll be talking to Simon Dunmore very shortly but as I said, today we replay Simon Dunmore's set live at Printworks from Glitterbox. Welcome along. I'm gonna sing it. You and you and you too. So special. Oh, music is so special. Freedom is something special. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Feel it, 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 feel it. This is something special for you.
right now you're tuned in to the Glitterbox radio show. You're with me, Melvo Baptiste. And um, as mentioned at the top of today's radio show, it's a special one for us. Um, I won't be controlling any of the music. Uh, we're replaying Simon Dunmore's final set from Printworks Glitterbox uh, last week. And we've got Simon on the show. Welcome. Thank you, Melvo. And... Uh... Uh, yes, uh, it was a, a pretty special occasion. I know you were there. We all got very emotional. Um, and uh, yeah, for me to dovetail, you know, my DJ career at a venue like Printworks, obviously at the Grit Rock Party, was uh, um, yeah. I just think uh, we all got very kind of tearful at the end. It was uh, it was it was very special. It was. Um, we've we've spent so many times in clubs together, um, in DJ booths, even travelling and. I know you meticulously, um, I wouldn't say plan your sets, but you're very aware of what records that you want to play. How on earth did you decide which records you were going to close off with and, and how you were going to go about tackling that set? Um, I wanted to DJ in the way that I used to prepare and feel um, like when I first started DJing. So I decided to play an all vinyl set. I started off with disco. Um, as everybody knows, mixing disco is uh, is challenging. Live drums, the, d- the drums are not syncopated, syncopated, they're not in time. So you have to know when your breakdowns are coming. I think you have to mix pretty quickly, unless you're an absolute uber expert, which I don't, I'm not. But anyway, I listened, I, I listened to it back and I'm pretty happy with it. And then it kind of evolved into house. So um, my set was dictated by the record that I have basically um, and you know when, you, when you're playing on a USB you can have various folders you can come armed literally with thousands of records when you've got one box of records that holds about 80, 12 inches and whatever that's what you're going to play so you know you, you, you know vibes of records you know you know the, 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 in the house records certainly the drums are tight they're easier to mix you know they do drift a little bit so you still got to keep your, your eye on things as they happen but it's the adrenaline that you get when you're playing with vinyl because you know it's just like um, you have to go find a record you have to put it on you have to queue it up you have to bring it in you know the CDJs and the USB does pretty much all of that work for you and then you know as records drift you have to make sure that you're in check with your headphones and so you never really let up yeah yeah. so I really enjoyed it it was it was like a real positive energy through, through adrenaline and the fact I hadn't played for such a long time and I don't know if I've ever played vinyl in front of 5,000 people before um, so yeah so I, I, I actually loved every minute of it minute of it and uh, the tunes were just you know there was some there were some obvious records and there were some some less obvious records but the crowd were just there for it yeah. and I you know the energy was coming but was so positive and there was a crew behind me so there was just nothing but uh, but vibes and 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 the other thing about DJing with with vinyl it's just more visual you know you're going to a bar you're flicking through records you're taking the record out you're putting it on so you know some of the the, the pictures from the night are far more interesting than just scrolling yeah. through a USB on your, yeah. on your on your screen you know so um, so uh, you know I'm still smiling about the experience like two weeks on
You are listening to the Glitterbox Radio Show.
favor The sweet love we feel for one another For the rest of our lives I'll be your lover after the event main room and big room culture has got us in a place where the final DJ of the night or if there's thousands in front of you DJs go harder faster bigger snare rolls and fame and sometimes they needed to be reminded that you can just play great music and still get the same reactions on a dance floor I mean the records I played were from a slightly different era uh, they made the process of making them was, was slightly different. You know, they're, 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 there's they're, they're full songs. You know, they have they have uh, verses, middle eight, um, choruses, vamp sections in the middle. They are interesting for a six or seven minute period. A lot of the records that are made today are interesting for two minutes, and that's why DJs mix out of them really, really quickly because people's attention wanders. But when a record is crafted and you know the, there's a musical evolution and arrangement and whatever it remains interesting for six minutes so I just I just let the records play and the reaction was just amazing but that's because they're great songs yeah I can kind of feel this full circle moment where and for me it felt like you kind of accidentally that was like your parting gift to the world of dance music you know what everyone there's another way of doing it and um, 
hopefully inspires a lot more people. I mean, yeah, it's it's only because I've been around for a long time, so I know the difference. I've grown up through different, you know, ways of approaching DJing, and obviously technology has changed things very radically and stuff. And, and uh, you know, if I do have a parting gift, it's not necessarily about oh, you got to. It's more real if you play with vinyl. It's just about you know, you just don't have to be playing for an Instagram moment the whole time. Just give people the best time that they can possibly have by playing the best music you can possibly play to them on the dance floor. And the Instagram moments will come, but lots of people are playing for the Instagram moment from the moment they put their first record on. I understand short sets make it difficult for you to take people on a journey. So I had two hours when I played at, at uh, uh, Primworks. And I think, you know, we, you know, having longer sets um, is probably the answer to a lot of things because it just gives DJs more time to be more creative. And then you'll see the ones who actually are more creative yeah, because they they're, they're given the opportunity. Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, um, yeah, it was a moment. I'm still, as I said, I'm still... <laughs> um, Simon Dunmore, thank you once again. Um, at some point, we'll reconvene. I think the Glitterbox radio show is now, I don't know, six or seven years old. And and uh, you and I were here for, for the start of it. So we thank you for the show. We thank you for the music. And enjoy, because we were there live. And yeah, I'm getting goosebumps now. It was It was special.
glitter box, a disco high. My friend, you might be going through something right now that you might not understand, but don't you worry. What I have to say can bring a change in your life. You see, no weapon formed against you can prosper. It's in the word. And if you need help, all you gotta do is ask. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. And he who seeks finds. And to those who knock her, it will be open.
as mentioned, right now you're tuned in to the Glitterbox radio show. It's me, Melvo Baptiste. And as you heard a bit earlier today, right now enjoying the sounds of Simon Dunmore live from Printworks last week. It was a special moment, a special occasion, and just a wonderful selection of music. Still loads more to come. Turn your radios nice and loud and enjoy.
one is special. He's special to her. No matter how he looks, baby, it's the inside that counts. <laughs> it's what's up front that counts. <laughs> I'm going to tell it to you anyway. Huh. You see, just let me ask you something. Have you ever had any so-called best girl friends? You know them cats. Laugh in your face and try to take your man behind your back.
God for the music. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. We gotta spread this message to the party people all over the world. I gotta thank God for the music. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. We gotta spread this message to the party people all over the world. I gotta thank God for the music. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. We gotta spread this message to the party people all over the world.
sacrifice And no more lies and alibis I'll no longer play the fool Oh baby In the fire 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 In the fire
cathedrals, baby. They could fill cathedrals.
listening to the Glitterbox Radio Show.
Approaching. We're fast approaching the final record from Simon Dunmore. So please put your hands in the air and make some noise. try and keep this short and sweet. Nothing's prepared, nothing's written, but um, I don't really know where to start about the importance of Simon Dunmore in this world of dance music. One thing, one thing, that, one thing that his boy Louis told me just a minute ago is Simon said he wanted to go out the way that he came in and he played an all vinyl set tonight, so he did it. As I said, nothing planned, nothing written, but ultimately the reason why we're here tonight, all of us, DJs, performers, you guys, or the reason why all of us are here tonight is because of Simon. We can talk about the years of Defected, all the amazing records that he signed. We can talk about the birth of Glitterbox and bringing to Ibiza. Ibiza was hard techno and it was 
tough. Simon brought disco and great songs and great music. <laughs> to Ibiza. Um, I think it's probably going to take a minute. It will take a couple of years for everyone to truly appreciate Simon's involvement and Simon's connection to all of our favorite records from all around the world, either compilations or releases or artists who he put on the map. Um, I don't want to finish this without bringing forward Simon's family because Yaz, <laughs> Millie, Louis, Lucas, come, 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 come. As much as we've, as employees, we've all enjoyed Simon, it must have meant that he's been away from these guys. So please make some noise, Yaz, Louis, Lucas, Millie. And once again, to confirm all of us who work at Defected or Glitterbox, Simon's put everyone on the map. He's given everyone a platform. He's the reason all of us are here tonight. He's an irreplaceable figure in dance music. And yeah, yeah, it's a hard one to swallow. We're still hoping that he's going to come back and do some more shit for us, but let's see. Before I go, please, please, please put your hands in the air and make some more noise than you've ever made in your whole lives. For the iconic, the legendary, Simon Dalmore. Just keep on doing what you're doing to me. Ah, his ecstasy.
before it was called house. I remember house when house respected house. I remember house when house grew from the roots of house. I remember house when house was soul music and R&B before house was disco. Before, before house, be, before house was disco. 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 Disco.